It's sunshiny. So today I want to put the seats back because they're taking up loads of room. But I keep finding damp spots, you know what I mean? I've got a car cover on now and it's like steamy as hell inside. So I'm going to take this carpet out and see if I can figure out where this water's coming from, even though there shouldn't be any in it, you know what I mean? But I'm going to look at the bulkhead and make sure there's no like gaping holes and stuff like that, you know what I mean? And then I'm probably going to paint this because there's rust, it needs sealing. So I've took the door sills off to get at the carpet and I found this. Oh, it's going to show. Can you see how like water's been running down there and it's left like a water trail? So it's coming from up here somewhere. Around here. So might be the door seal. It's likely the door seal, it'd make sense, won't it? Right there. Right. Yeah. So so far I've discovered the carpet's actually already been cut to fit a bucket seat anyway. But it also runs over the transmission tunnel here and it's connected to this one as one piece, obviously. So I've peeled back this and I'm just going to cut it under there, you know what I mean, so I can get in it. I want the carpet back in, I like carpet. You know I mean? there. It's like, you look under here, you see all that carpet that's just stuck to the floor. It's absolutely stuck to the floor, so we need to get it out. We've got something going on with damp, haven't we? So the same as the other side, it's these damn things, like little fillets. They fill it in, they get damp and then they hold water. And they go mouldy as well, so... I don't like these, or the foam on the bottom at least, anyway, this padding. So, I need to like remove that padding and put it back. It's my painter choice. I like Heiko. I'm starting to think it's probably a bad idea, all the overspray is going to go everywhere, like on that screen and stuff like that. But I don't want to use Hammerite because it's too soft, you know what I mean? So, here goes nothing. Yeah, it doesn't seem bad. Got a bit of wind. bothered with that bit because obviously carpet goes there so not really asked. It's just exposed isn't it? You know what I mean? so it should tidy up, easier to clean as well. I went for the handbrake lever as well, kind of got it all over there but yeah. And uh, I'm probably going to take this bar off and just respray it to be fair, you know what I mean, get a really nice finish. Thinking about doing a colourful colour on it so I've got some gold in the old shed. Like this is gold, this could probably do it a touch up, you know what I mean, so might be one of my accent colours. I feel like gold's going to be it, because you get gold calipers, don't you, so I like gold. So while that paint dries, I might as well look at doing the seat bracket here, because it's all rusty and manky as well. I might even do it gold, I don't know, black's boring. But then I've got blue seats, huh? Oh, so. Oh, yeah, it's probably going to clash, isn't it? I'll do it in black. Black's cheap, isn't it? So anyway, I took it off. Scotch brighted it down. Used a bit of a cocky to get the raw stuff. So there we go. That's that stuff on. Of course, you probably should do some primer on this, but it's inside the car. It's just to tidy it all down. You know, Never likes to see rust. There's no reason for it to rust. So, four pounds for a can of paint. You know, mm -hmm. Just to put all the effort in. Just enough to put it in later on, you know what I mean? Now it's time. It will probably be folded up in a ditch, so. <laughs> Not so much a problem. Not gonna go too mad on this, this is the bottom side, so. Don't need to be longer. 
Okay, I'm gonna come over there. I can't as well, so. <laughs> Let that dry. I'll flip it over to the other side. Big brain time, yeah. Hang it up, you can do both sides, and the can gets held up the right way. Let's spray in a pile of sawdust. Oh my god, professional. Beauty pan. Mm. There you go, lovely jubbly. Can't see anything. <laughs> That's the point, I suppose. Yeah, lovely jubbly. So, next task is to give these a clean gear maneuver up. Because I don't want to print back otherwise. The audio should have improved as well because I've turned the directional mic around to face me. Like if I talk now, you probably can't hear me. But I'm always doing this direction, so it should sound better now. I swear, I'm gonna get some legs on this pallet because it's so useful. Just you know, just keeping stuff off the floor, not getting wet. Right, Andy. I'm so lazy. I have two tripods. One that's set up all the way down and one that's set up all the way up. <laughs> it's a really good tool though. Far it's better than the Hoover gets the dog ears out and it like really flings them little bits out it can never get off. Good tool. If you own a dog, you need to get one of them. T gets all the dog hair up in one ear. I'm, I think I'm onto something here. Amazing. It's come out pretty damn good like that. Still a bit wet though. Bladdered it in the, you know what I mean? <laughs> I want it sealed. So, get a bit longer to dry, I think. It probably needs overnight, really. The sun is beaming on it, though, so it shouldn't take long. So, next thing we need to sort out is this. I'm just going to take that foam off it. It kind of needs to dry, so I'm going to stick it in the sun. Sunshine like dry for 10 minutes. Thank you, Sunshine. So I've sprayed my so I'm about to put the seat back on it and I'm looking at it. I'm like, that's not very glossy, you know what I mean? I'm not expecting mega results, but I'm basically gonna put another coat on it just on the top side, you know what I mean? I think it's it's one of these fronts that you can see. I think it's this one. So I'm just gonna second coat it, you know what I mean? Get a bit shiny. It's a bit cold, but it's warming up now, so. If you use a heat gun, you'll get a better gloss finish, you know what I mean? But we're not really bothered. Being a true British tight arse, I've only sprayed the ends. I don't know which corner is visible, but I've only gone around the perimeter for the second coat. The middle, who gives a damn? <laughs> Saving paint, baby. I had a little bit like, yeah, you can tell it's loads glossy in there, you know what I mean? So I should do the middle a bit, but nope. The Englishman in me tells me that that is at least 20p saving right there. Sound. So, that paint used to dry, so stick it all in the boot. Let's call it a day. So there we go, we're all tucked in fat night. It's worth mentioning, probably should like a proper tire or some up against it. I'm not bothered about that door, it's scratched anyway, but if you don't, it flaps all over the shop. It makes quite a noise, if I'm honest. I hope the neighbours aren't annoyed. My car has ears now. <laughs> well, I feel like I wasted my time painting so much. <laughs> you barely see it anyway. But still, you could see that bit a lot, so it's nice to have that covered up in it. If I get these a brush down on This palette's kind of become like my inbox of things to do. <laughs> this needs to go on next, but we need that to dry overnight. So 
So, I've just edited that video with the directional mic pointing into my mouth and it's like, I'm never doing it again. I sound like an old man. <laughs> I'm not doing it, you can hear all that. In my mouth and stuff, I know. No, we're just not gonna bother with the microphone anymore. The sun's gleaming. I feel like I want to do a bit more. Oh, what are you doing? Yeah, let's do something. So, tied it up. We, what is it? The, the seat belt firing wire, whatever it is, it's when your airbag goes off. <laughs> um, it'd be nice to get that out, but for now, I'll just zip tied it up so it don't jangle around onto your seat. <laughs> Yeah, so carpets in. Get a bit of a wipe down as well, a bit of a wash. I use some spray adhesive on like this bit here because it's been cut to like allow for the drift handle. <laughs> so I've like used some spray adhesive on that. You leave like spray it on, leave it five minutes, and then push it back. I forgot to push that one in. There we are. Looks tidy. Attempted to spray paint that black, that nut. <laughs> Yeah, so I just need to put chair in there. Hey, Payne. Where is it? I got it. I know. I came up with a saying today. Dave's daily quote. And it's basically logistics. The best way to store car parts is in the car on it. I'm sick of tripping over it bit. So. I'm scared my cat's gonna make a home in it, so it needs to go back in the car. Oh yeah. Oh it's better. Just need to sort this front view out now. That steering wheel's fucking AIDS man. Well, we've done this half now, I just need to do the same to the half. That's a nice place to be then. It's loads of nice, so that handbrake just disappears now. Need to do it steering wheel and the handbrake. And that kind of matches in, but I'd much prefer a black one, you know what I mean? I think I'm going for Batman vibes on this. That view there. That's the money shot. And there. Yeah. I'll put that trim on tomorrow because it's sunset. Uh -huh. Can you hear that bird? You need to be careful on that. It's gonna fall over in a minute. It looks a bit wobbly though. The Leaning Tower of Lily. Like, comment, subscribe. See you next time.